And as a consequence, the piano players, somebody actually asked a question about this last week. So the piano players that accompanied Chicago blues guitarists, most famous of all being Otis Spann, uh, when they played the blues, they didn't have access to the tools that the New Orleans piano players had playing in their keys. Um, so they had to get around it. And as a consequence, the sound is much, uh, much a lot more vinegar than honey. So in the Chicago blues, you get more like... <laughs> So it's really raw, it's the really stripped down to the minor notes. But the New Orleans stuff has a more of a major feel, or a blurred distinction between the minors and the majors, which allows it to be more ornate. Which to me always sounds like the, mus the musical equivalent of that wrought iron filigree work you see on the beautiful um, balconies on Royal Street in the French Quarter.